Hi, it's Karen from The Reading Corner. Today we're gonna to talk about graphing. And um, I'm gonna kind of refer to my notes on this one because there's so many different things that you can do with this activity. Um, if you were just gonna do it and you know, give it to your child as an independent activity, you could literally just say, can you graph this activity? But that's not what it's really intended for. Um, after we graph the activity, that's where the real work comes in. That's where we're, we're comparing, um, we're analyzing, we're deciding you know, which one was the most and the least. When you're looking at preschool standards, um, there are tons of different literacy objectives, but in math, there's actually only four. There's graphing, there's patterning, there's counting, and there's spatial relationship. There's a lot that goes into those, but those are the main four components. So in our curriculum, we have all four of those multiple times in each week so your child can get some exposure to it. Um, the first thing that you can do with this activity is you can just do a, a simple sorting activity. Um, first of all, okay, if you're like me, you're going to cut it up yourself just because I like the nice straight lines, but it's really intended for it to be a cutting activity for your child. So they're developing those fine motor skills of cutting that's going to eventually help them be really great solid writers. Um, so have your child cut it out, don't cut it up for them, and just have them sort them. We're gonna sort the, the strawberries and the, the, um, the oranges. This lends itself to quantifying, and basically what quantifying means, it means that you can look at two sets of objects and automatically see which one has more or less. You can look at a bundle of, let's say, five to six um, objects and automatically, automatically say that's five. That doesn't come automatically, I think I said that. It basically, it takes time. So you wanna be able to say, okay, let's count this one and have your child do the one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, there's four oranges. Now count this one, one-to-one, -one, count them. There's five strawberries. Which one is more, which one is less? But eventually, as you're doing this activity and some of the counting activities, you're gonna find that your child can do what we call subsidizing or quantifying. And that's really where you want them to get. Same thing when you're actually looking at the graph. You're gonna be able to say, based on what you see, which one has more and which one has less. And a lot of times, at the beginning, they're gonna have to count, but once they're gonna be able to visually see, oh, I can tell that the orange has more. Again, always ask why. Don't just ask for the answer. We don't wanna know that they're right. We wanna know how they got to it. Why do you think that the orange has more than the strawberries? There's more oranges than strawberries. Well, there's more, it's higher on the graph than um, the other ones are. Um, as you go through the curriculum, just like with all the activities, it is gonna get, the, the graphs are gonna get a little more complex. So there might be one that has all the objects up here and your child has to cross them out, counting, um, and then graph them. So I said that this one has as, probably as much bane for your buck as any of them. Um, we're doing the comparing, we're counting, we're comparing, we're sorting, we're qualifying or quantifying. You can also make predictions, and this is getting into some of those um, reading skills where you can have all of them sitting there and you can say, which, what do you predict? Which one do you predict is gonna be the most? Um, the only other thing I'm gonna say about this before I lend you and lead you into our instructional video is this is kind of just a, a graph at this point, but all with everything I like to make stories of. So make a story up about this. So like one day, you know, Sam went to the fruit market and he decided that he was going to get some fruits, but there's one fruit that is Sam's favorite and we're going to find out which one that is. I mean, I literally just made that up. It wasn't the most exciting story. You can probably do better, but um, putting it, connecting it to a story really gives your child a little bit more of a mental image of what this, this is about, but also gives you them a purpose for why we're doing this graph. We wanted them to know that a graph is a simple way of organizing data to look at the results. Um, so make sure you're doing all those great things where we're quantifying, we're counting, we're sorting, but again make sure you're asking the why afterwards so we're getting into our kids thinking and getting some language and vocabulary in there and then also make sure you are just really unpacking the graph and analyzing it not just completing it. Um, when we go into our instructional video, I will go into a couple more activities, ways to use the graphs, and I also will bring in two or three more of the um, difficult, more difficult graphs so that you can see how to do those ones as well. And I will see you at our next video.